that Elohim is not about a unique set of attributes. Because if it was, they wouldn't be doing this. They wouldn't be calling the deceased human dead in 1 Samuel 28, 13, Elohim. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't be calling the gods of the nations Elohim. They wouldn't be calling the members of, of God's heavenly host Elohim. They wouldn't be calling the Shadim in Deuteronomy 32, 17, Elohim. Those things are not the God of the Bible. Yeah. They're, they're, they're supernatural beings that are lesser. And so what Elohim actually means has nothing to do with a, a set of attributes that are unique to one being. What Elohim actually means is it's a term you would use to describe something that by its nature is disembodied and a member of the spiritual world. That's all it is. Oh. Now, in that world, there is rank, there is hierarchy, there is differentiation in attributes. Yahweh, the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, is an Elohim. That He's in the spiritual realm. There are lots of Elohim 